In less than 100 years, what have we been able to achieve? Now, let's take this and analyze this. 100 years ago, we were in horse buggy and carriages, right, using oil lamps. Now, we can send remote control cars to Mars. We have Voyager 1 and 2 heading into interstellar space. We have the Huygens probe that did great surveys of Saturn and Saturn's rings and, and, the, and the probe that landed on Titan and all these incredible things, feats of te technology we've been able to achieve, the Hubble and the WISE telescope and, and so forth and so on, right? So now we say, well, 100 years, we did that. Imagine the civilization that's been around for a million years longer than us. Whoa. Yeah. What can they do? So you look at these tablets and some of these beings appear to have arrived here about 450,000 years ago. Imagine being able to travel that distance a half million years ago. Where would they be right now? So when you understand the, the, the how technology grows exponentially over time, like right now, I think Google just created a new quantum computer that's 270 million times faster than the previous one, which is only two years old. Imagine those leaps and bounds in technology that we're doing right now. And now take that to another civilization that's been around for a million years. All of a sudden, whatever they do is magic. They're gods. They can think something and it appears. They can manifest solid matter from thought. As a matter of fact, in the Emerald Tablets, Thoth talks about manifesting solid matter from photons and frequencies. And what just happened a couple years ago in a laboratory in Europe, scientists got together and they actually, for the first time in history, manifested or created solid matter from photons and frequencies.